Yo, what's up guys? Uh, so today I just wanted to do a little inventory tour on my main account. Um, I was in the mood and today I got my new Blue Yeti microphone which is what I'm doing the voiceover on. So uh, I think it'll be pretty high quality. Uh, so let's just get right into it I guess. Um, I have these sorted by quality um, because that's just the way I like it. and. Uh, on account of the new um, revolver update, which the revolver is the best game, or the best gun in the game, sorry. So I don't have a skin for that, but I have a skin for every other gun in the game, uh, excluding the P2000. Yes, excluding the P2000 and AWP. Um, but yeah, so. I guess I'll just start with uh, the best guns. Um, basically, we'll start off with my P90 here. I used to be a very good p 90 -er. I mean, I still am. And uh, basically, uh, I used to be P90 only because that was my main gun. Um, I was very good with it. I was main SMG on our team. But ever since our team disbanded uh, and I queue with uh, my friends who were in the team, but we just disbanded it. Um, I have stopped using the P90. Uh, I was going to get a Death by Kitty, but I decided against it, and I will be getting a uh, field-tested uh, Golden Coil for the M4A1S, I believe. Uh, but yeah, this was a $6 P90, 6 or $7. Um, it's got a name tag on it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool name. I didn't name it that. Uh, got it off the market. Uh, still have yet to name it. But I, I think it's just pretty cool. Uh, I think it's uh, my only name tagged gun. Yep, it is. Uh, sold my other guns. But that's brilliant. Um, next up is my most expensive gun right now. Uh, which is my AK Vulcan. Uh, my Vulcan is so precious to me that it's probably one of my favorite skins and favorite weapons in the entire game. Um, it is a field-tested Vulcan which runs for about $20 to $27 on Steam Market. Um, it's a very good float. It's uh, 24, .24, I believe. Um, yeah, I traded a knife for this thing and a minimal wear M4A1S Cyrex. So I believe it was a very good trade. Most of you will be like, no, don't trade your knife for weapons, but it's up to me and I'm getting a Karambit uh, for Christmas. So I don't think it'll really matter in the long run. It was a gut knife rust coat. So, you know, who cares? Um, but yeah, uh, that's probably my most prized possession. Uh, I have Virtus Pro on this gun because orange matches and Virtus Pro is cool. Um, don't have a posh of biceps. No wait, do I? No, I did not. No posh of biceps. Uh, but yeah, uh, Virtus Pro because they're pretty cool. I like them. And on here we have Navi because they were in the finals. Um, and Navi is pretty cool. Um, Next up on the list is the Aug Chameleon. Used to have a stat track field tested, and before that I had a regular field tested. But don't use the Aug anymore. Don't see the use for the stat track, even though it's cool. I love stat track weapons. I just don't see the use for it. So, got a minimal more. Uh, this ran me about $3, $2. Uh, no idea. It's a pretty cool skin and pretty good float, so I'm happy with it. Uh, then we have the Chatterbox, well worn, uh, this is three or four bucks, maybe, I don't know. I like the stock design because it's uh, reminiscent of the Tiger Tooth, and Tiger Tooth is one of my favorite uh, knife skins. Um, I've always wanted a Karambit Tiger Tooth, like Banana Gaming, um, they're always a really cool skin. But Chatterbox, uh, you know, it's a covert, and it's for the glow. I'm the type of person that if they have a covert for the weapon and it's uh, pretty decently cheap, I will get it because it's a covert even for a weapon that I don't use because I want that fine loadout. Know what I mean? 
I, I sound retarded, but... Uh, yeah, $4 skin. Uh, next up, MAC-10 Neon Rider. Again, going back to the P90, I used to be MAC-10 uh, also, because if you know how to use it, MAC-10 is a great weapon. Um, sorry, I had to mute my mic, I uh, had a cough. But, as I was saying, MAC-10 is a great weapon if you know how to use it. Uh, I frequently uh, got headshots with it, you know. Um, the recoil really isn't that hard. And Neon Rider is a really cool skin. Uh, I was thinking about getting strat stat track, and I still might. Um, I have no idea. That was about uh, five dollars or three dollars, somewhere around that range. Five to three dollars. Uh, that was pretty cool. Got to keep coughing. This is this is terrible for my first voiceover. I'm gonna ruin my reputation. Uh, here we have the Sawed Off Kraken. Sawed Off is a great gun. Uh, it does the most damage out of all the shotguns, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Even though I'm like a a really heavy CS:GO player, I don't know like all the weapon damages, but I've memorized some. Uh, I'm pretty sure this does the most damage or second most, whichever one. But it's really good. Uh, they compare it to the Mag 7, which is also a really good gun, um, but uh, Kraken is very, very cool skin. Uh, I have the Navi sticker on it, because Navi is pretty cool. Uh, they're a cool team. Uh, and I really use this one because I used to be Lurk and Entry Frag. That's why I had SMGs, was because I was Entry Frag. And then I was Lurking with someone else. We had a double Lurk on our team, and we had the Sawed Off, which was pretty cool. Uh, then we have the Deagle Conspiracy, which I'm going to be selling today. Um, uh, ever since the Revolver came out, the Deagle has just, you know, plummeted down. No one uses the Deagle anymore. It's all about that Revolver, you know. It's $150 uh, more expensive, but uh, it's definitely worth it since you have right and left click, and it's a one-hit body shot. Uh, Conspiracy is pretty cool skin though. Um, this is worth about three dollars, I think, two or three dollars. So I'll be getting a crimson web. Uh, I might show that in this video. Uh, I gotta speed this up. This is gonna be a long video. Uh, Famas Jin. I uh, had this for a while. Uh, most of these skins that you see, well, not most of them, but some of them. Uh, I think. I think the MP7. The Scout, the SG, the Scar, the P250, uh, the XM, the Nova, the FAMAS, uh, the G3. All of these were purchased with only $20, so if you want a pink loadout, $20 is a great place to start. Just get it and really like divide up your money with math, and you'll get almost a full pink loadout. That's what I did. Um, but yeah, most of my pink skins are uh, $7 or less. From Oz Gen's pretty cool. Solomid stickers. Um, I like the gold and yellow and Solomid, so they're pretty cool. And they are a good team. Um, G3 Flux Field Tested. That was about $2, I believe. Uh, really cool skin. Uh, I like the uh, Shadow Case. Uh, shadow Case was pretty cool, but I think they could have done a little bit better with the Shadow Daggers. Um, not really my thing, if you ask me. Uh, Glock Water Elemental Minimal Era was about $5, $6. Um, it might be more, I don't know. Prices have gone up and down recently. Um, then we have the m 4 one us Guardian, uh, which is a placeholder, but it's got, uh, holographic stickers. I'm not sure, uh, pretty sure the Cloud9 sticker is holographic in the, uh, NIP sticker, I, I'm not sure. But Guardian's a pretty good, pretty good skin, I uh, got it to match my... USPS, um, which is also very good skin, um, but yeah, I like Guardian, and, uh, it's classified, which I need classifieds and coverts. Um, I'm glad they added both a classified and covert to the revolver, but those are just way too much, $30 for a revolver. I mean, some people 
you know, they they want their skins that bad, but um, I think I'm, I'm gonna be fine with Crimson Web for a while. Um, then we have the MP7 Nemesis, which is a great skin. We have the Knife Club and Apex sticker. Uh, Envy, uh, you can't go wrong with Envy, they're such a great team. Uh, and the Knife Club sticker is just a really cool sticker. Uh, Minimal Wear, uh, $3, I think. Uh, this was about 5 Um, then we got the Nova Antique Fact New, which was 2 or $3. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool skin, pretty cool skin. I was thinking about getting this for my Smurf, because my Smurf account is a redneck. And, of course, uh, this would be a great skin for a redneck. Uh, then we have the P250 Cartel. I used to have an AK Cartel, uh, which was very cool, and I got this to match it. Um, but ever since then, I'm, I've just been fine with it, you know, since I have the Vulcan. It's still a pretty cool skin. I like the skull on the handle. Um, yeah, this was a, about a dollar or two. Uh, Scar 20 Cardiac was about two dollars. Really good skin. Well worn. It looks minimal wear. It's pretty cool. Uh, Cyrex, two dollars. I think. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm either getting a Stat Track M4A1S Cyrex or the Golden Coil. Pretty sure I'm going with Golden Coil. Um, the Big Iron, really great skin for Scout. Um, I'm thinking about transferring this over to my Smurf because my Smurf uses Scout, but my Smurf is Revolver only at this point because Revolver is OP. Uh, next to the Scout we have the Stat Track 5-7 Monkey Business, uh, which was $7. Um, fuel tested. Uh, really good, really good skin, you know, uh, and stat track is amazing. Uh, then we have the XM, uh, Tranquility Minimal Wear, which wears really fast, and it, the only wear is really on the stock here, or handle, and, uh, right above the handle and trigger guard, uh, right where the stock collapses in. And that, I mean, that's fine, because you'll never see it on play side, but it's, it's just inspecting the weapon, you know. But, I mean, it's fine with me. It's still a, uh, cheap classified, so I'm fine with that. Uh, Dooley's Cobalt Quartz was about a dollar. Um, this was about two dollars, I think. Uh, this is about a dollar, I think. Uh, great skin. Um, Nebula Crusader Field Tested was about a, mm, 80 cents, maybe. Stat Track Mag 7 Heat was about a dollar with the NIP sticker on there. I can't tell what it is because I scraped it off. Um, or didn't scrape it off, it's a level right above scraped off, so it's you can't see it. Um, uh, I got an Ace with the Mag 7. Uh, that's how I know it's a really good skin, is if you can get an Ace with it, it's- or, I mean, gun. Uh, if you can get an Ace with it, it's a really good gun. So, then we have the Stat Track MP9 Ruby Poison Dart. Uh, MP9's okay, um, not as good as the Mac 10 by far, but at close range it's pretty good. Then we have the Stat Track Negev Loudmouth, uh, this matches my Chatterbox. Uh, they're... I'm not sure if they're by the same person, but they are, uh, very similar in design. The dirty, kind of yellowish look. Then Stat Track PP Bison Blue Streak. I will be getting a Fuel Rod because it's a really cool skin that came out with a revolver case. Uh, then we have a Stat Track UMP45 Grand Prix and a Stat Track USPS Guardian. This was 66 cents, uh, about a dollar and thirty, and a uh, dollar and a dollar. Most of these, most of my purples are a dollar. This was a dollar. I'm getting the new Tech Nine from the. Uh, Revolver case, which is the Avalanche. I'm um, probably going to get that minimal wear. Um, and then I have my music kit, which is the Hotline Miami, or Miami. You can hear it in the background. It's a pretty cool, uh, you know, music kit. Um, I'm probably going to trade that out for the 8 bit one. But, um, anyway, let's see what we can do for the revolver skin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. Um, 
Hopefully it's above $3. I'm hoping that it's above $3. Because I feel like... I feel like the Crimson Web is $3. Oh god. It's $1.66? It was so high. Oh, that's because the revolver came in. Damn. Alright, well, $1.38. Oh, uh, we'll just go for it anyway. We'll put it for a uh, dollar twenty, which is a dollar five. So if they have one for a dollar, I will get it. Um, I'll sell. Not sure if I'll sell anything else, but that's all I'm willing to sell. I don't think I'll get anything for it, but yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, be sure to look out because this channel has been rebranded for CSGO only, and uh, I hope you guys like the rebrand, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.